Well, hello, Case fans. Uh, we're going to show the video steps as best as I can because I'm not a vid videographer or a YouTuber. But uh, we're going to, this one's already done, but I'm going to show all the steps to put my new improved control link in. We put a new bushing. And where the control lever sits, that, that bushing actually sits in a little pocket that's cast into the cross brace here. See how this one doesn't wiggle? That's because it's new. That doesn't wiggle because it's new. Uh, this assembly here is what you call your neutral safety switch. It has two switches on it, but uh, you have to remove that. And there's a 7 16 bolt here and here. And you just take those bolts off. They're pretty easy. And then you'd pull that forward. And that gives you the play that you, you need to be able to lift this whole lever rod. This is the control lever. Uh, you have to lift it up a little bit. And then your spring here, would uh, you push it up and the bushing comes out. The bushing that was in here was completely wore out. I thought it was going to be a plastic one that broke because it was so sloppy. Turned out it wasn't that. It was a it was actually a bronze one that was wore out. And uh, so this is the way it is on a four digit tractor that's completely everything out of the way it's the best way to show the pictures you can of course if the tank was in here you could still get the switch out the battery would be in the way so you would take the battery out uh, to get the switch out and uh, this one has the the filter that's the filter uh, holder there and the pipes are all there, the hoses are out, because this was a leaker, so this leaker's getting all new hoses, so it's a great time to do everything. And uh, some have the filter, some don't. But you can see how much easier it is to access everything when you're starting at the point we are now. Even the engine's out of the way. With this being a leaker, I had to take the tins off of the engine completely because all these fins were completely packed with junk everything around it all of the valley here was packed carburetor you couldn't even make out the, the distinguishing features it was so packed you couldn't actually tell there were coils here it was so dirty the whole tractor was just really dirty. The see how you can see through the cooling fins here. Yeah, you couldn't do that before. Completely clean. What I do is I I like to hit it with uh, either the power washer in warm weather, but in the cold weather like now, I use uh, kerosene and uh, let it soak, and then air kerosene air. I got this uh, really cool gizmo here. It's an extended air gun with a siphon hose. Here's the siphon hose with the end. Section end on this. And you just put it in the in a container of kerosene and blast away and then you get a nice dirty floor in the process but what can I say it's too cold to run the power washer after I do the kerosene bath look at how clean this is after I do the kerosene bath you know you you blow as much down as you can with the hose uh, or with the air and what I went, got off of Amazon was this catch tray. And it caught some of it, but other than that, I just keep absorbent material down on the floor. 
so it, I'm not getting it all over. And uh, so then after that, the kerosene would still leave a sticky, uh, oily film on on everything. So the last thing you have to do after you air blow all the kerosene off as much as you can is use at least a can, maybe even two, of brake cleaner. And what what that does is especially on these cooling fins like this is uh, there's no film so it really makes it so the dirt can't stick. This guy's jacked up in the air. Tire axle jacks on each side makes it easier to get under the tractor. This is a late model four digit. The late model four digits have this uh, takeout hose to add a, a rear hydraulic PTO, and then your you know it has that slant piece that goes in here and this is different where it goes side to side instead of the lever that goes up and down but that doesn't matter to this job all it does add an extra hose in the way underneath uh, this one's getting redone because the set screws were really were backed out and not properly torqued and uh, the pump shaft was wiggling in here the so-called mechanic bolted the uh, torque arm in to the snubber plate and that lasted all of one second and then it broke loose and uh, I have a new adapter on my order, new torque arm on my order to fix this tractor.